What's up guys, David here. Today's video is a special one because in today's video, for the first time ever, we're unveiling the FumBuff style battery test. Now, this is a test that we've been working on and developing for close to a year now. And it's actually something that you guys have been asking for since all the way back when we announced the FumBuff style drop test in 2015. So thumbs up if you guys are excited for this video like I am, and a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more of these battery tests in the future. But for now, I can't think of a better way to kick things off than with the matchup that we have today in the big boys from both Apple and Samsung going head to head. Taking a look at the spec sheet, the iPhone XS Max has a 6.5 inch display with a resolution of 2688 by 1242, and it's running on Apple's new 7 nanometer A12 Bionic chip powered by a 3174 milliamp hour battery. The Note 9 on the other hand has a 6.4 inch display running at the default 1080p resolution since that's what the majority of people are gonna be using it at anyways. And it's powered by the 10 nanometer Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 to go along with its whopping 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So the question is, will Apple's more efficient seven nanometer chip along with iOS's optimizations be enough to outlast the Note 9 or whether the Note 9's 4,000 milliamp hour battery will be just too much for the iPhone to handle? Let's find out. All right, so for this first test, we're jumping into the phone app where we'll be making a one hour call on each phone using the same exact SIM card in the same exact location. We have our robot covering the proximity sensor for the majority of the test with it only pulling off every 30 seconds to check on the call status. It's important to note here that we do have consistent audio playing on the other end of the call. That way the earpieces are actually being put to work like they would be during a normal conversation. We'll go ahead and speed through to the end of the call where after one hour, both phones hold up pretty nicely with the iPhone XS Max dropping to 97% and the Note 9 falling slightly behind it at 95%. So let's see if the iPhone can maintain its lead as we head into the second test, where we're simulating a real world text messaging conversation. Our robot is typing in a string of letters and suggestions on each phone, with the same set of responses from our chatbot coming back from the other end. One thing worth mentioning is that we've calibrated the brightness on each phone to 200 nits to make sure that things are nice and fair, whereas setting the brightness levels to their maximum would only penalize a phone that's capable of getting brighter, which obviously wouldn't make much sense. After one hour of going back and forth with text messages, the results are actually the opposite of what we saw in the first test, with the Note 9 pulling ahead with its battery at 86%, compared to the iPhones which fell down to 84%. But it's still a close one, so let's move on to the email test, where we're opening the same set of emails on each phone, and scrolling through each one of these opened emails a few times before returning to the inbox and repeating the task. The email apps on each phone are fresh, so each email is being loaded for the first time to best simulate how you read emails in real life. After one hour, the Note 9's battery level is at 78%, increasing its lead over the iPhone, which saw its battery level fall down to 71%. So just three tests in and we have a pretty significant difference. The Note 9 is 7% ahead as we enter the browser test, where each phone will randomly cycle through the same set of 100 websites every 30 seconds. We're also scrolling through these web pages to better simulate how you browse the web, where after the one hour browsing session, the Note 9 is able to improve on its lead with it now 13% ahead of the iPhone at 68% compared to just 55. We'll see if the iPhone can turn things around as we move on to Instagram, where we're not just sitting on one page, but actually scrolling through the feed like you would in real life, which is important in a battery test as touch input does have an effect on battery life, since every time you touch the screen, the phone technically has to process that touch. One hour of scrolling down the feed later, and the iPhone took a major hit to its battery, falling a whopping 18% in this test, compared to the Note 9's relatively moderate 9% drop in battery. So things just aren't looking good for the iPhone as we enter the YouTube test, where we'll be watching the same set of videos on each phone. It's important to note that in addition to having the screen's brightness equally calibrated, we've also calibrated the speakers to the same decibel count to make sure that the volume levels are the same. And after one hour of YouTube binge watching, the Note 9 continues to outperform the iPhone XS Max with its battery at 49% compared to the iPhone's 19%, giving the Note 9 a 30 percentage point advantage over the iPhone as we head into the gaming test, 
where we'll be playing Alto's Adventure on each phone. It'll be interesting to see if the iPhone 7 nanometer A12 Bionic chip can make a difference here, but after one hour, it looks like it didn't really seem to matter, with the Note 9 maintaining 38% of its battery, compared to just 1% left on the iPhone. So obviously, we don't expect the iPhone to last too much longer with only 1% as we enter the Maps test, where we're simulating navigation by having GPS turned on, having the phones actively checked for real-time traffic information, and scrolling through the maps. We're just over 4 minutes into the test, the iPhone XS Max's battery is done, with the phone powering off while the Note 9 still has 37% remaining. So a big difference here, and in case you're wondering, yes, we did make sure that the iPhone wasn't app indexing during the test, and we even ran this test twice and got the same exact result. So we'll go ahead and move on to the end, where after one hour in maps, the Note 9's battery falls to 28%, after an hour in Spotify, it drops to 17%, and then finally, about 40 minutes into the Snapchat test, the Note 9's battery finally dies making the winner by a huge margin, the Galaxy Note 9. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.